Melville Dewey once said, The time was when a library was very much like a museum, and a librarian was a master in musty books. Information is no longer locked away behind closed doors, the librarian acting as the gatekeeper. Today the library permeates all aspects of a school, and the librarian is, in the highest sense, a teacher. In fact, in over 60 studies done in the last 40 years, the link between school library media specialists, academic achievement, and rising test scores has been firmly established. Instead of simply learning from books, today's students are inundated with information from the internet, magazines, social networking sites, email, television, radio, and a host of other outlets. The problem for today's students is not in receiving information, but to what to do with it once it has been received. With 200,000 YouTube videos and 2 million blog posts being published each day, students are swimming in a sea of information without a lifeboat. Rather than act as gatekeepers for information, teacher librarians are trained to assist students in a broad spectrum of areas. Librarians build on their classroom experience and learn to not only deliver reading and media instruction, but to augment resources in all areas of the curriculum. One way the school library can support the curriculum is to study the learning goals in each distinct curricular area. This year, teachers at South were tasked with identifying and focusing on student deficiencies based on last year's ISAT scores. After evaluating those goals, the library was able to add to its print collection titles that directly enhance the goals in reading, math, science, and social studies. Similarly, teachers in the science department spent many weeks studying the solar system this fall. Resources from the library were taken to the classroom and a premium was put on replacing outdated titles with new ones. The teacher librarian is the link between classroom instruction and the 21st century skills needed in the information age. Students no longer open a textbook to get answers. They must integrate information from books, databases, and online sources. The library is invaluable in helping students access and synthesize this information. With the help of the school library, students are learning to use new technologies and to enhance their traditional classroom instruction. At Bell Valley, the librarian is charged not only with maintaining the book collections, but also managing a budget, overseeing three separate book distributions, running two book fairs, collaborating with teachers on young authors, supervising library staff and volunteers, and promoting two separate statewide reading programs. These jobs are in addition to the everyday ins and outs of circulating approximately 1,500 books per week. As a collaborator with teachers, school librarians serve to communicate and replicate the best practices among teachers within the school and the larger educational community. The future of the teacher librarian relies on breaking down those barriers by entering the classroom and working with teachers to establish common goals for students. By providing staff who can maintain the mundane aspects of the library, teacher librarians are free to collaborate and cooperate with classroom teachers. The silent, cavernous libraries consisting of nothing more than tables and stacks of books are gone. Today's best libraries are flexible spaces that meet the needs of a constantly changing community. Seating for up to 10% of the student body, shelving that is compliant with the American Disabilities Act, and the most current technology is all necessary for a modern library. Well-designed libraries work as learning laboratories where teachers, students, and administrators come together to share their best ideas and work together. The Bell Valley South Library is currently undergoing changes to reflect the new paradigm. Additional flexible shelving and a new layout have enhanced our ability to serve students in the most effective manner. Space restrictions are the biggest obstacle in this library. With a room the size of a small classroom, the best practices of libraries will not be obtainable. Future plans for a larger library need to be put in place in order to achieve these goals. One weakness of the traditional library is that it is only available to students and teachers during school hours. By establishing a website or other virtual platform, students and teachers are allowed access to library resources 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. This is especially important as today's learners become more and more accustomed to retrieving information through their computers. 
The district has supported this by purchasing two additional reading databases and establishing a library homepage that has links for students, teachers, and parents. Additionally, plans are underway to convert the current library catalog to one that students can access online. This will allow books to be researched and requested from anywhere that a student has access to an internet-enabled computer. It is clear that today's school library is just as, or perhaps even more critical to a child's education as it was 50 years ago. Key decision makers who support best practices for school libraries, including curriculum integration, teacher collaboration, information-rich resources, and certified library staff, enable libraries to bridge learning by connecting the curriculum and information literacy skills. The Library of the Future not only engages students academically, but it also provides up-to-date print and technology resources that can help to close the gap between privileged and at-risk students. Today's school library must be established and maintained as a driving force for meeting the challenges of 21st century learning.